There's a shortage of about 650,000 construction workers here in the U.S. How does that impact your business specifically and the broader industry? I, I think the industry is uh, is definitely impacted. We're, we're lucky that we have um, we're in markets that there, you can still find uh, a good tradespeople. Um, however, when you get into some of the markets that are are farther from the big cities, it's just not happening. And and jobs, like you mentioned, are slowing and stopping. All right. So we, we mentioned this a bit ago. Uh, construction tied for the second most jobs added in July. How does that yeah. impact wages and also your ability to find the right talent for specific projects? I'm talking about healthcare and tech, things like labs yeah. and data center, where you are seeing strong demand. Well, it's it's a systemic problem, unfortunately. It's it's not something we're going to solve this week or this month or this year. It's um, uh, there is some positive. Uh, you're seeing more and more attention to it, uh, but you saw the the big jump this last month. Um, I I don't believe that that that's going to be able to continue because there just aren't the people. Um, you know, immigration is down. Um, uh, birth rates are down. This problem has been going on for the last, I mean, immigration has been down since 2016. And that's where a lot of people that are entering the construction trade market come from. Um, and, and until we, we get that corrected, it's not going to get better. What about wages? Are you seeing uh, wage pressure? Are, are, are your Absolutely. employees kind of hopping from job to job? I, you know, a lot of people don't know this. I actually worked in construction for a bit, and my mom was eh. in construction. So I, I know how hard it can be to find employees and then also to keep them, especially for someone like you. You're a general contractor. You need subcontractors. They often look for better-paying jobs, maybe yeah. even sometimes while they're working on your job. Absolutely, especially in the tech se sector, as you mentioned. Um, we have a number of projects going in, for instance, in Phoenix, where there's a huge boom with the with the chip plants, et cetera. Um, and, and you're seeing offers to tradespeople on our job sites that are five, six, seven dollars an hour more uh, than the already high wages uh, that have that have escalated in that area over the last five years. Do you run into the issue that we see a lot of times when it comes to residential projects where you have a subcontractor start a job and they get a better offer and, they, you know, they're still working on your job, but they kind of migrate over to this other higher paying <laughs> job? We're, we're blessed that we don't. Uh, I mean, that's a great market. That's not a market Clunes in as a residential, but um, but we're blessed that we have some amazing trade partners okay. that that don't do that to us. All right. I want to ask you about two other uh, areas right here that have been a really a headwind for the financial markets. I want to ask how it impacts construction, supply chain disruptions, and also less demand for commercial real estate. How does that impact your business? Oh, well, the less demand for commercial real estate is huge. Um, you know, obviously, banks are not lending for commercial real estate, especially office space. Um, so this, that's, I mean, and if they can, if you can borrow, it's the interest rates are, you know, three times what they were just a few years ago. Um, so that's not going to, you know, that 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 definitely affects us. Uh, however, it, it you know it does. To be honest, it, it loosens up the 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 market for for labor a little bit. So I guess there is a silver lining in that cloud. All right. What about the supply chain disruptions? What about the prices for materials and also availability? Yeah. We're seeing some improvement there, um, especially as I mentioned. You mentioned the data center market. You know, where where we used to get large generators in, in six months, it went up to over two years. It's getting back down around the year mark. So we're seeing that loosen up um, and, and the prices for the raw materials are leveling. Uh, so that's good, but um, we, we don't see it. They, they won't be back to the, the, the rates or the, the lead times that they were, you know, six months or two years ago for some time. All right, we have the jobs report coming up. So you're saying the hiring spree that we see in the summer isn't sustainable. What's your forecast? Do you see that number falling simply because of availability of workers, or is there maybe one more month of a of a hiring surge in there? Well, we're hoping for one more month, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I can't I can't project that. But yeah, I, I think you you could get another month. You could get another month.